Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today, we're going to talk about photogrammetry again, yes. But this time, we're going to take a look at something very specific. So you may know that with a drone like the DJI Mini 3 Pro, like this one, uh, you have a quad bayer sensor here, meaning that normally it's 12 megapixels, but it can also take pictures in 48 megapixels. And the question here I'm trying to answer is, does it really matter when you're doing photogrammetry? How much detail do you actually get using the 48 megapixel photos? And also I'm gonna answer another question at the same time is, using an AI upscaler, can you actually get similar results as with the 48 megapixel photos? So let's dive into this. So the subject today for the photogrammetry process is uh, this little tower in the middle of a field. Uh, it's pretty nice because it had plenty of free space around it to fly the drone around, uh, nothing to collide with. And it's a subject that is sufficiently small so that the capture process doesn't take a million years. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to capture everything, but it was much slower because I had to switch between the 48 megapixel mode and the 12 megapixel mode. Obviously, if you're using just one of the two modes, it's gonna be basically twice as fast. So before we can talk about the results, let's talk about first the way I captured the images. I tried to have the same set of images in both 12 megapixels and 48 megapixels. And the way I did this, was to go to some spot, capture a photo with the 12 megapixel mode, then switch to the 48 megapixel mode, capture the same exact photo from the same spot, and then move over to another place, capturing 48 megapixel, and then switch back to the 12 megapixel mode and capture again. That way I have two data sets which are almost identical from the perspectives that I took with the drone. So the same spots were taken in the same order. That matters because we want to make sure that everything else is the same. We just want to change the resolution of the photo and not have other factors like the number of pictures taken or the positions of the drone. If I did the same trajectory twice, it would probably not be exactly the same. So here it's really trying to have as close of a match as possible. So the most important factor here in the software is to make sure that we're using the best quality possible for the depth map generation. So when you want to build a model, it's gonna use depth maps, and the depth maps are generated from the photos themselves. And one thing that is happening is a downscale. If you select something like medium or high quality, it's gonna downscale of a factor four and two, respectively. But if you select ultra high, it's not gonna downscale your images. So this is very important, why? Because what's the point of taking 48 megapixel photos if then, during the process of photogrammetry, you're gonna reduce the size in the software? That doesn't make any sense. If you want more pixels as an input, you want to use all the pixels that you have. So make sure that you're in ultra high for the model generation, otherwise it doesn't really make sense. So for the AI upscaling of the photos, you have many different options. I'm just gonna use Lightroom because it is convenient. So first, you're gonna load up your images in Lightroom, then you're gonna select all of them, then right click, enhance, and then you're just gonna click OK. It's that simple. And that is gonna double the resolution of the images. Now let us just compare the different images that we captured from the drone. So this is the 12 megapixel image. From afar, it looks pretty nice and it was pretty well lit uh, with the sunlight, so that's good. When we zoom in four times, we start seeing some rounded edges and some blurriness that starts to happen. That's because it's relatively low resolution. When we compare to the native 48 megapixel photos, from afar, not much changes. There is a little bit more dynamic range in a 12 megapixel, but that's not really a problem here. When we zoom four times, we do see significantly more details. 
and it especially shows when you compare them side by side. Here, the 12 megapixel image has significantly less detail than the 48 megapixel. It's not day and night difference, but it's still significant. You could see that the edges are sharper uh, and there's more detail, for example, in the moss and the, the texture of the bricks themselves. So it is a nice addition to have the 48 megapixel. And now let's compare this to the upscaled 48 megapixel. So we took a 12 megapixel still and we upscaled it using Lightroom from afar. Not much changes, but when you zoom in four times, you do see that it's slightly more detailed. So it does resemble the 48 megapixel that you get out of the drone. But if you compare the two side by side directly, you start seeing that the upscaled image has a lot of artifacts, especially where the texture of the moss was kind of natural looking on a native 48 megapixel one. A little bit blurry, of course, because we're still far away and we're zooming in eight times in this case. It still looks relatively natural on the native 48 megapixel image. On the upscaled image on the right, you do see a lot of artifacts and the edges do seem to be sharper on the right side for the upscaled image, but it does look like it's digitally sharpened and it's not necessarily pleasing to the eye. Now, the real question is, all these artifacts going to show up in the 3D model or in the texture of the model and is that going to be distracting or is it still going to add a little bit of detail compared to the model using the 12 megapixel images. So let's take a look at this in detail. So here is a side by side comparison of all three 3D models. I'm gonna let you guess which one is which. Uh, feel free to pause the video at any time to try to see more detail and to be able to study a little bit. So yes, you guessed right. Uh, the left one is 12 megapixels. The middle one is the native 48 megapixels. And the one on the right is the upscaled uh, 48 megapixels starting from 12. Now, you could see, uh, again, you could pause the video anytime to try to take a better look at it, but you could see that there is significantly more detail in the 48 megapixel photos, whether it is the upscaled one or the native one. The 12 megapixel in comparison looks a bit blurry and you know less detailed in terms of 3D shape and also in terms of texture. Now, sometimes it really shows up and here in this case, for example, you don't really see much difference. It's more when you have the moss on the bricks that it starts to show. From further away, like in this shot, you don't really see much of a difference, to be honest. You really need to be pixel peeping to see the difference. It really materializes when you take a closer look. But overall, from afar, it kind of looks the same, to be honest. I'll let you be the judge of which one looks better in terms of 48 megapixel. Is it the upscaling that you prefer or the native one? an interesting way to see it uh, is just the wireframe and you can see that it's much more dense for the 48 megapixel photos uh, whether it is the native one or the AI generated one and you could even go further and see that uh, the upscaled 48 megapixel seems to be a little more dense than the native 48 megapixels but that's mainly due to the artifacts that are being generated by the AI during the upscaling. And of course, the 12 megapixel is relatively uniform, uh, although lower density. It particularly shows in corners or here in the bricks when we have an extreme close up. You could see that the shape of the bricks is much better restituted with the native 48 megapixel or even the AI generated one than in the 12 megapixel. And here on the pillar, the same conclusion can be made. Uh, the bricks are slightly better defined more detail is retained by the picture and there's not much difference between the upscale version and the native version. And once again, from afar, the difference is harder to see. And here's something interesting. You can see that the density is not completely uniform in both the 12 megapixel photos and the 48 megapixel photos, uh, but the upscaled variant seems to be relatively uniform on the wall. So which one does look best? Uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what you think about it. Would you rather capture 48 megapixel photos directly from the drone, even though it takes you more time in situ? Or would you rather use AI upscaling in post to try to get as much detail as possible from the 12 megapixel photos? Let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.